Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a patient who came in. It was a 30-something uh, year old uh, young woman who came in complaining of a nodule on her left upper lid and it turns out she had what's called a chalazion which is slightly different than a sty. A sty is an infected um, follicle of an eyelash that gets infected and forms a little lump or cyst on the eyelid. A chalazion is actually, uh, or chalazion, whichever you want to call it, whichever way you want to pronounce it, uh, is actually a, the glands in the lid called meibomian glands get plugged up and form a cyst and so it's a little bit different. She also had a disease called blepharitis. So blepharitis is an inflammation around the base of the eyelashes and this can be due to a staph bacteria that hangs around the lashes and causes this crusting and, and whatnot on the eyelashes, which we're going to show you here in a second. And um, so people have this, who have blepharitis, their lashes get crusted up, maybe not to this extent, but the lashes start getting crusting on it and uh, it's due to either a staph bacteria or uh, and or a combination of rosacea, seborrheic skin condition that causes that. And so people who have this also have higher incidences of developing these chalazions or chalazia. Uh, and so um, what happens is, is the glands open up, those meibomian glands in the lid, open up right next to the, to the lashes. So if this is all inflamed, then these can get sort of blocked and uh, then they form a cyst called it the chalazion. So I'm going to show you an image of what the glands look like. Hopefully it will show up okay that you can see it. But you can see this lid has been flipped inside out and there's a whole row of glands that are along the lid that are called meibomian glands that secrete the oily layer into your tear film. And so people who have disease, meibomian gland disease, also end up having dry eyes. And so she had developed a cyst in her lid and so wanted to know what to do about it. So we gave her some options. One, I started her on lid scrubs to clean these lashes off to clip her blepharitis and a antibiotic eye drop. And also we have a little foam that has an antiseptic in it that she can rub into her eyelashes at bedtime. And then we also, first thing in the morning, have her put hot compresses to her eyes, then clean this stuff off her lashes. And then because in the eye that has the chalazion, we're going to do this for both eyes. The eyes that, has, that has the chalazion, we're going to have her heat that up three to four times a day for about 10 or 15 minutes with really a hot washcloth to try to get this chalazion to resolve and go away. If it doesn't go away, then I told her that we could come back and we could incise that open that in, that cyst and drain the stuff out of the cyst and clean it out and then that takes care of it. Uh, but she didn't have to do that right away. Some people want to get this rid of right away and they choose to just, just fix it now so we have to do an injection of, of a, a xylocaine or a numbing medicine into the lid and then we actually flip the lid over, make the incision inside the lid, clean out all that um, cyst-like uh, sebaceous uh, meibomian gland uh, material and then that, that takes care of it almost almost all the time, 90 something percent of the time. So she's chosen to go conservative and put hot compresses to it, try the drops, clear up her blepharitis, and see how she does. She says she also, her family has a history of rosacea, so it looks like she's going to have a problem chronically with the blepharitis and if she keeps working at it with the uh, cleaning her lids and scrubbing the lids and, and doing the foam at night, she should do pretty well. So if you have any questions about a chalazion or a lump on your lid or something that's similar called a sty, you can always contact us through the website. If not, may God grant you healthy eyes and great vision.